what up guys welcome back to the channel guys guys today we're gonna do a remelt of some soft plastics we're gonna be remelting some zoom we'll be remelting some gambler um and i believe this is i believe there's some gambler um toads in here and some other type of baits in here some worms um i have a buddy that he wants me to make him some some tricks some shaky head shaky head worms um he wants the tail to be green so we're gonna go with this green that i already have here so we're gonna shoot all the green in first then like always we snip it with the scissors and then we lay them back in there and then we go back with the green pumpkin and we shoot it in there so it can blend in together but you always have to shoot it at a high high hotter than usual pretty much so they can stick together so with that being said guys let's start making some baits all right guys we put all the green all the, the green puck in here so we're gonna go with this we're gonna melt this and when we come back it should be ready all right guys we got we got the plastic ready all right you guys can see let me adjust this just a bit there you go Always make sure to have a good quality injector, guys. And make sure you clamp your molds because these don't, these don't have the pins, so you have to clamp them with clamps. Always make sure you clamp them perfect. First one always seems not to always come in perfect, but just hold the pressure so it could go all the way across, across here, and it could fill up the whole worm, and then you could just snip what you need off of it. Then you top it off. And that's it. <clears throat> all right, let's open this. Let's see if it even went all the way. Mm. Oh yeah, it did go all the way. Look at that. Got flashing, but hey, I don't care because all we need is this part right here. That's the only part we need. Very so, good. I'll show you one more round. All right, let's see how this came out too. There you go. Another good set of worms. Green worms at that. This is gonna be going down there. Dancing in the fish's face and it's gonna be going boom. Give me that. I wanna eat it. So then when you're done with all that, you, you did all the green. There you go. You grab the scissors. And Kind of tell where you want to cut it, you cut it like right here. Just like that. Let me put a time lapse for you guys so I don't bore you at all.
So right now we're just heating up the color, making sure it doesn't overheat. So don't keep checking it because you never know. It still looks decent. Let me clean this. So far, still looks good. Woo! Starting to get a little mushy. Look at it. So. Put it in there for another 50 seconds to a minute until that consistency is perfect. We're trying this not to burn it. I want to make sure we do a perfect so we could put that in. So we could shoot it in here perfect and we make some perfect baits for this young man. All right, while, while the plastic is getting ready, let's put these in here. All you do is just put it in there a little bit, a little bit. One at a time, I mean. Make sure they're in there aligned align correctly. So when you shut the mold, it doesn't dent them or nothing like that. And it doesn't do anything weird when you when you put the plastic in there. So. Make sure. Shut's perfect, it shut perfect. You have your clamps. Just like that. I think our plastic's a bobby so. Oh, it's That. crazy. It's like color shift, all different types of colors. Pretty cool. Right, it's a projector. Let's see if we have enough plastic to at least shoot one round. Might be enough, might not be enough. You just never know. We had, I think we have just enough. I'm not gonna lie, this plastic stinks. Cause that gambler has garlic in it. Whew. We'll wait a couple minutes and we'll come right back when it's all set and ready. <clears throat> Alright, let's open this up. <clears throat> a fish I would eat this wow it actually came out pretty good this came out good too check all of them that one's good yep they're all good wow <clears throat> they came out better than I thought they would. That. Just from your remelts, guys, you can recycle all your plastic that you go fish and get you a mold that you fish the most, or whatever you like. If you like catching on drop shot baits, you like catching them on stick baits. 
shaky head molds whatever and you could do this at home it's not gonna take you more than 25 30 minutes off your day all right let's open this last one i i shot this one off camera <clears throat> there you go another perfect shot guys <clears throat> what we got left well not that much really maybe like up to here then we have the pucks left so if we really wanted to make some more we would be able to make some more but 10 came out with these soft plastics that this friend of mine gave me 10 worms 10 fish so yeah guys 10 worms right here now you can do it with these and grab them you put them in the bag first of all we get some warm oil you pour some warm oil in there. You grab. A Bassy Mike official sticker of the YouTube channel. Put it like that on the bag. Grab these worms, throw them in there. And you're ready to go fishing with the official Bassy Mike worm. There you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode, guys. I thought it was a pretty decent, easy tutorial. This took me literally probably 45 minutes to get this done from the time I cut in the plastic melting the plastic because i had already everything i already had it it was already melted i the only thing i need to do is melt it shoot it cut it that was it guys so hopefully you learn from this hopefully you guys can go out there and do it yourselves and if you do comment down below and tag me on instagram so i can see the pictures and if you do i'll make sure to put you on my story to give you that you actually went out there and did it guys so Make sure to subscribe to the channel, make sure to comment down below, and make sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload from me. And I will see you guys next week, and I hope you break your personal best this summer.